Hello, this is Aaron Zephyr again for another review for my um, ASUS E1201 netbook, which is kind of right in front of me right now. Um, first off, I really want to thank um, everyone for all their comments. I know I've been responding as fast as I can. I'm normally like on my computer like every day. I'm a freak, whatever. But um, I, I do enjoy a lot of the comments I get um, helping people out and some comments like, I have a really nice voice. I never knew that, and I don't really like my voice, so, <laughs> um, I'll be trying to make more videos, like I said, I've been, like, extremely busy, I had, like, like, three research papers to do, and it's been really stressful, but, um, today I'll be reviewing a couple more games, um, showing the frame rate, showing on how the game works, how, if it works well or not, like, I got a couple games that did not work, but, um, I'll be showing them in just a bit. Okay, right here I have Dragon Age playing. Um, I know it's it might be a little hard to see because like the glare is just you know just too hard to do to deal with really. Um, not really too far in the game, and um, the frames can uh, go around between oh I'm getting attacked nine to fifteen frames, and this is at the lowest setting possible at the lowest lowest resolution. Actually, someone's attacking me here. The settings I currently have it at... I'm going to turn the volume down. Let me repeat that. It's 800 by 600. And I have the graphics set, medium, and texture, texture detail. It doesn't really matter if you sit at high or not. It tends to be the same. Um, if I set it to low, it's not really much of a difference. It's actually very playable. I've been able, I'm not that far, but I've been, I've been able to play it pretty fine. But yeah, I'm, I haven't really had the time to play as much. I hear it's a really long game. And, but, uh, okay, right here I have Resident Evil 5. And I actually was able to beat this game on my um, computer, or this netbook right here. Um, it's not too bad. I prefer the console version, and I know my gaming computer can play it a lot better, but I was able to deal with it, and it's not really that much of a problem. Um, the frames I've been getting um, for this game is about 20 to 30. You can see up there, it's about 30. And um, this, is, this is the part in the game where you're on the car, and you're, you know, shooting down the whole mess of these zombie-like guys and even though there's a lot of things going on you know, oh, 20 30 frames right here I got 18 even though there's a lot of things going on it seems to be working pretty well since I said I, I did finish the whole game on this netbook Oops. not paying attention to the commands here <laughs> But uh, 25 frames. I don't know if I can see the options on here. The systems, the settings I have it at is 600, 800 by 600 full screen, vertical sync off. You want, you would want that off. Um, frame rate, um, whatever works. Anti-aliasing off, everything off. Texture quality high because it doesn't really do much. Shadow and everything else is low. So even with all that, it's about 20 to 30 frames and it works pretty well. Okay, right here is everyone's favorite, Fallout 3. Um, it was requested by um, a number of people who've watched my videos and uh, I finally got it. It was actually um, a couple days ago. Or maybe, uh, I lost track of time since, you know, so many papers to do. But um, I was actually doing some studies today and I was taking a break and I was playing this. So here I am, playing Fallout 3. I've been getting about over 25 frames, up to 30. And I'm not that far in the game. Like I can't, I can't really get so far into the game because I'm just ridiculously busy. So um, I'm having a lot of fun so far. My friend's been dying for me to get this for um, the console version. And, and I'm, pretty, I'm enjoying it so far. But I don't know what to do now because I'm not really paying attention. Um, 
Let's see. I killed five people so far. That's kind of random, but hey, like, it's fun. Whoops. Um, another note, I had to set everything down to the lowest possible, like, like even the settings in here. Um, everything's basically turned off except, you know, crosshair and subtitles. Those aren't really, there's a minor. Um, there's also other settings when you start the game, and I had to turn everything off. But this looks, to me, it looks beautiful. It looks normal, looks fine. It's 30 fr about 30 frames, and it's pretty solid to me. Okay, right here I have Spore, and for all you know, those who know, um, it's a very addictive game. Um, since you know you go you go down from the cellular level all the way down to like nations and tribals and going to space and all that stuff. It's it's really fun. Actually, um, the first time I got, it, I spent like a nice five hours playing it straight, and um, I got to this part and I just completely died because I was trying to kill everyone. Since you know I like killing things instead of you know joining nations and stuff. But um, at this current setting, I have everything low, but at a higher resolution, and I'm getting about 30 frames. I was actually able to play it at um, everything high, but everything looks kind of weird. It, it looks more realistic. I, I'm more in for the cartoony look. Let me see if I can pull that up really quick. Um, let's see, I'm going to throw all this at high. That includes everything. like depth of field and the current resolution I have it is 1024 by 768 and I want to press OK and it's going to start changing up all the graphic settings and it drops down to like 10 frames but you know they look a lot better and I think you can still even play it at 10 frames so it's not really that much of a problem I don't think it really, really matters anyways. Look, they're stealing my food. Anyways, but um, but yeah, you can you can play this at low settings, medium settings, high settings. It doesn't really matter um, if you want to make it look better looking. It, it's really up to you if you um, decide to get this game for your netbook. Okay, right here I have Lost Planet. And this was actually an old request. Let me turn down the volume real quick. Um, this was actually an old request that I got from someone, you know, X amount of, you know, months ago when I first started recording. I actually found that this game is not actually that playable. Um, due to the fact that I guess there's a lot of things going on in the game. Like, you know, those huge ass monsters if you ever played those, if you ever played this game. And I also feel like the camera is so awkward and if I turn it just a slight, it turns around like a whole 90 degrees. And I don't like that. Um, like I said, this is this is just very this is the start of the game. So I might be having trouble like turning, and tossing the camera. And this is just the beginning of the part. And when you get to the uh, the big monster, it crashes because it the monster is just too big. It I just can't deal with it, or the computer can't deal with it. It's just humongous. So um. It's getting about 19 frames, but that can be deceiving since even if it's working, looks like it's working fine, later on it's just going to crash or, you know, not work at all. Here's Melty Blood. It's actually one of my favorite games to play on the computer. Um, a friend of mine introduced me to it, and um, this is actually a translated version. I believe you can download this online. I'm not sure if it's you know, all legal, if you're all okay with the legal crap. But, um... When I'm on my breaks, this is the only game I really play because uh, it's it's short, it's fun, and it's uh, great. Um, you can set it at any frames you want uh, under the, the settings, and it'll stay there. Like I love playing this game at 70 frames. It's just how I am. Um, it feels fast, a little bit faster than the normal 60. Um, but if you look at the top corner, it's 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 staying at its frame rate. Right? what I love to do. Um, I'm not really that great in fighter games, but 
I found that I'm really good at the keyboard rather than fight stick or a D-pad. I'm not really thinking right now because I'm talking and playing the game at the same time, which is kind of hard to do. But um, I really thank everyone for watching my videos. And um, it's been fun doing all these videos when I have the time. I know I'm trying to get another video in, but I think that's quite impossible right now since I'm, I might do it when school's over and want to have some more free time. But uh, like I said, thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for another video if I ever get a chance to make one.